what's up guys, Steven here, and this is my review of the Logitech G910 Orion Spark and fully mechanical RGB gaming keyboard. So let's get directly started. So I was using the Logitech G510 for a very long time and I thought it's time for an upgrade. So I've got myself here the Logitech G910, the Orion Spark, and it's Logitech's first RGB mechanical keyboard and it looks nothing like the past keyboards. So it looks quite futuristic, but pretty cool in my opinion. Now let's have a look at the gaming keyboard features. It comes with exclusive Roma G mechanical keys with up to 25% faster actuation. Like you just have to press them down around 1.25mm and then they already trigger. I think in my opinion, so from the feeling, they come very close to the brown Sherry MX key. So just from the feeling when I type with it or play. Then there are 9 individually customizable G keys, also individual key lighting with multicolor backlight so you can pick a color out of 16.8 million colors. There's also a mobile application for your smartphone, so it comes with some kind of smartphone dock and you can control the keyboard with an application from your smartphone and I think that's a pretty cool feature. So everyone has a smartphone, everyone wants to have it on the desk, so why not use the dock and control your keyboard. Now the switches. I have to say, yeah, um, if you're a Sherry MX fanboy, you will actually also love, I think, the Roma G switches. Now Logitech claims that the key switch durability is 70 million clicks, and that's really a lot, I think more than on the Sherry MX switches, but honestly I have to say, who cares about the lifespan, so you will have a really long lifetime of the keyboard, it's a Logitech product and it's a mechanical keyboard, so you can use it for years and will do the job. So now let me quickly show you what you can find inside of the box. So the Logitech G910 retails currently for around 200 euro in my area. And I have to say the price, yeah, it's a bit pricey, but the feeling and the look, it's so premium. Just have a look at the box. You can see here the G logo in there. The first impression was just like, oh my God, it looks absolutely stunning. Then here you can see the keyboard. So well, it also comes with a user manual slash setup guide or whatever. And yeah, it comes with um, those plastic things, and they're actually exchangeable hand rests. So this one here, which you can see here, um, it's the bigger one. Now, some of my friends like this a little bit more for playing shooters. I honestly have to say I play with the smaller one. It feels just more comfortable, because the keyboard is already very big, and having that big hand rest here just makes it a little bit too big for me. But some people say um, for shooters we have to have your hand all the time on WASD. It feels more comfortable, but it really comes down to personal preference. Well guys, there we go. Let me show you the keyboard here from the top side. So um, actually how it feels to use it and what you can see here. Now probably you can already see the color scheme and it looks so damn great. And also the backlight is very strong. So you can also see it when the lights are really strong to see like the studio lights. Not really sure if I can catch this on camera, but I have to say it looks outstanding. As you can see, I'm now using the rainbow effect, so it's basically like a wave coming from the left to the right side. Changes here for all the colors. You have here, for instance, also the G910 logo, which also lights up in different colors. So the only thing which has no customizable backlights are actually the buttons here in the left top corner, so the M buttons. We have M1, M2, M3 and MR. MR lights up in red and all the other M buttons they light up just in orange. Also here the G logo, as you can see, it's multicolor. So let's talk about um, the buttons here. Um, so it's a normal keyboard. We have the German keyboard layout because I'm based in Austria. On the left side we have G buttons. From 1 to 5, so um, vertical and horizontal from G6 to G9 here at the top side. Now also there are other cool things which I want to mention. And this is the, the dock release. So here that's the ARC dock and you can basically put in here a smartphone. So I can quickly show you that. You just have to release the dock, put in your smartphone with the application running, then close the dock and there you go. I can now see here for instance um, the CPU usage of my notebook, GPU usage, RAM usage and also trigger other things which I want to show you a bit later. For sure it has numlock, caps lock and all that. And we have here a gaming button which deactivates the Windows buttons. We have here the um, lighting button, so for the backlight, you can switch it off if you want to, so if it's not needed. Then here we have a mute button on the right side. This is very useful. If you want to mute audio, so if you're watching something which other people shouldn't see and the audio is coming on, just hit the button and it's muted. Here we have a volume slider and this is the coolest thing ever. It's rubberized and it's, it feels just like a mixer, so you feel a bit like a DJ turning up the volume on your keyboard. Absolutely cool. For sure we have here all the media buttons, play, pause, back and forth. So that are all the buttons here. 
and the usual stuff like scroll lock, caps lock, and num lock. Now let's talk about how it feels to actually use the keyboard. So yeah, I'm now using the keyboard for around a month and I was playing a lot of games. So from Minecraft over to Rainbow Six Siege, GTA V, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and I'm very happy with the keyboard. So it's very responsive and it's probably the fastest responsive keyboard I've ever had. So if you just gently tap a button, it goes down like a millimeter and then like collapses, but um, then you already have pressed the button, so you just have to press it down only 1.25 millimeters and it's pressed. So on Sherry MX switches, I think it's 2 millimeters. Now, I don't notice such a huge difference, but probably some hardcore gamers will notice it. Now, there are people complaining about the keycaps. Now, there's some, yeah, some really actually feelable sharp edges here, and some people say it prevents you from sliding to the other keys. Honestly, I have to say, I don't feel so, so for me it feels really okay, but Logitech um, has some cylindrical key pa uh, keycaps, sorry, and you have to buy them extra, I think. So, because a lot of people complained about it, now the space bar here has probably the biggest edges, also here, um, the old key, and yeah, something which looks really strange is actually the Windows button, because it's like, like curved or convex, but um, all the other buttons have here those edges to keep your fingers um, on the buttons, actually in the middle of the buttons. Some people, they hate it. I actually don't really care about that, so for me it feels okay. But there are also different keys. So you can actually order them. Bad thing, it doesn't ship with the other keys. And to um, replace them, actually all you have to do is just peel off the keys like this. You can easily clean the keyboard, and you can easily change the keys. And also if you have a look at the switches here, so the buttons, then you can see this looks absolutely stunning. Just check out here how fast the backlight changes and how beautiful it looks. So the keyboard is not only responsive, it also has the most beautiful backlight I've ever seen on a keyboard. This is absolutely stunning. Now regarding the sound of the button, so it doesn't sound so much like a mechanical keyboard, so the sound is actually not so strong, if I can say it like that, so not so loud. If I type here, just listen, you should definitely hear it. But I had some other mechanical keyboards and they were way louder than this one here. But I have to say, the feeling if you press the buttons is absolutely great. And also the buttons, they are very durable as I've shown you before. But that's not everything. So also the cable and everything has a very good design. Now let me show you the backside. Now this is the backside of the 910 and here you can already see the screams like quality. So here we have the stands, which you can just flip out here like this. And they also have rubberized pads here on the inside. We have here a rubberized pad in the middle, a smaller one. Here one for the dock, so if you slide the dock, um, you should actually lift it off if it's on, on the desk without the stands, because otherwise yeah, um, you won't get it out so easily. And here we also have rubberized stands here and here, so you have a very good stand. The keyboard is not sliding around on any surface. And during hard gaming scenes, so I don't know, in Counter-Strike, I really um, press my keyboard a lot. And yeah, um, the keyboard doesn't move a single millimeter. We have here the G910 serial number and everything, and yeah, that's um, the um, keyboard here from the bottom side. As you can see, um, also here the backlight comes through it, and I have to say, looks very well built. Now let's talk about connectivity. So you just connect it like any normal keyboard to a computer with a USB connector. The USB connector, it's not gold-plated, now it's a very expensive keyboard, and a gold-plated USB connector, or at least something which looks like that, would be better in my opinion, but well, who cares about that? Um, it's nice quality and the durability is good. You can see here a strain relief and that one here is really massive. So probably one of the best strain reliefs I've seen because really big. As you can see, cable comes really straight here out of the keyboard and the cable length, it's 1.8 meters, so six feet. So definitely enough for me, standard cable length and very good strain relief. Alright guys, so now here on the computer, I just want to quickly show you the Logitech gaming software and what you can do with it. So as you can see, the keyboard is flashing with a lot of different colors, so we want to change that and also want to show you how to configure macros and what you can do with them. So we're now here in the gaming software, the download link is on Logitech, so on the official website and the application is very good in my opinion. So let's have a look at all that. First of all, when you connect it, you have to install the drivers and then you will see your keyboard here in the application. If you have more Logitech devices, it's actually quite useful to get also a mouse, because then you can adjust the same thing here in the application. 
Now first of all we're here on the startup page, so here home. And um, what you will have here is your keyboard and here are all the G buttons. As I've told you, you have nine G buttons, so nine programmable buttons. And um, as you can see um, in the left top corner, here we have M1, M2, M3 and here MR. So you can actually switch here between three different modes and each mode um, lets you yeah, just enter here nine G buttons. That means you can have up to 27 macro buttons, so 27 G buttons. So what can you do with them? Let me quickly show you that. So you can assign really cool things to them. All you have to do is just highlight any of the G buttons you want to assign anything to. Make sure you're in the correct category and then you right click the button and you go to assign new command. You can also edit the command, you can use a generic command or you can unassign the key if you don't want to use it at all. Now first of all we're going to assign a new command. For instance, you can add here, you can edit here keystrokes, like um, if you want to type anything and you just hit that one button and the keystroke will be typed automatically. We also have here multi-key. So for instance, one button presses multiple keys. You can start your recording, just um, yeah, type anything on the keyboard, so I'll do it here quickly right now. As you can see, it records all that here in the application. You can stop recording and if you press the G button then it will actually just um, type all that in the chat or whatever or maybe just in the game. Here we have text blocks, so for instance if you want to spam a message, <laughs> pretty cool actually, then you just enter here message, name, and you can also have a delay between the characters, like it looks like you would be typing, and yeah, there are even MMORPGs where you can do cool stuff with those macros. Okay, next thing, we have your mouse functions. So you can actually do mouse stuff with your keyboard, that's pretty cool. You can left click with a button, you can right click, back forward, scroll up, scroll down, for instance for pages. This is also kind of useful sometimes, so really cool stuff. You can rebind the media buttons, like if you want to have them on the G buttons. You can assign hotkeys, like um, close the window, Alt plus F4, so this sometimes sucks to do it, but here you can do it with one button. You can actually just um, assign programs to the G buttons, like you press the button and it opens up the program. Very useful for programs you use very often. Different functions calculate the media player, nothing too special, and also, for instance, ventrilo commands or voice commands. Okay, so that's how you use the G button. So nothing too fancy, we already know that from all the Logitech keyboards, but let's continue here and let's have a look here at this mode. And if you have a closer look at this, then this here are the game mode settings. So for instance, if you activate game mode by pressing the button on the keyboard, you will actually enter game mode. And you can see there are some buttons grayed out, like you don't want to use the Windows button in game mode because if you accidentally press it, you will be kicked out of the game. So you can also deactivate other buttons, like for instance, you don't want to use those buttons because there's something bad in the game. Just deactivate them for game mode. That's pretty cool. Then let's go here to lightning mode. So here we have really, really cool stuff. And first of all, we have here this epileptic color scheme, which I want to change right now. What I will do is I will switch here, for instance, to static backlight. Here you can just pick a color from the RGB color changer and, um, yeah, you can assign it to the keys. For instance, just have a look here at the screen. So the H screen is now in, in green. Then you can have, for instance, here something in red. So you can make your own layout and this is absolutely cool. You can even type something here like yeah, I don't know, we uh, W, whatever you want to, you can do really cool stuff and customize your keyboard. For sure, you can also just highlight several areas, like half of the keyboard should be pink, for instance, and yeah, you can also use different modes here, and that's really cool. So that's freestyle, which is totally customizable. Every single button except of the M buttons and the media buttons here at the top. Next thing are zones. Like you can have here, for instance, this zone here highlighted in um, yeah in orange, then those buttons here in green, and just in like in freestyle mode here with um, different RGB colors, and also here different lighting zones. So the G keys only WASD. Then here we have command key. So basically here shows active game keys while playing a game. And here, last but not least, we have the cool stuff you guys were waiting for, all those rainbow effects everybody likes. Now, let's make this a little bit slower because it really gets your cancer, you really get sick from that. Okay, so color cycle, and there we go. So here we have fixed color, first of all, if you just want to have static backlights, then here we have briefing, so um, it's actually just slowly fading out the colors, then the colors are coming back. And there is slower, that's very, very slow, and it's also pretty fast, so it's like bam, bam, bam. Then we have, for instance, the star effect, that's pretty cool, one of my favorites. 
Then there is colors um, cycle, for instance. So this cycles here all the colors. We can also go here to faster. There are color waves, and this one here looks pretty cool. I usually um, just use that to demonstrate what that keyword can do, because this shows the full potential of the G910. Um, yeah, for sure, you have your horizontal, you also have vertical, and here from the center, and, oh, sorry, here, sent out, and that looks damn awesome. Okay, then here we have key press, and this is pretty cool. For instance, if you press now a key on the keyboard, then as you can see, key lights up. And if you type here, then you can see keys will light up and then slowly fade out. So you can also have it here faster or slower and fully adjusted. So that's the backlight, and I really love backlight on the G910. Okay, last but not least, we have here the key press heat map. Now I've installed this application here on the notebook um, for the first time because I was using that on my desktop gaming station. But basically, if you um, this application tracks your your typings, that means after a week or two, you will see which buttons you use a lot. For instance, the WASD buttons they will be red or orange, um, and this says yeah you're a gamer. If you type a lot, you'll probably have um, everything in the same color or almost the same color. So yeah, um, that's everything you can do here in the application, so pretty cool. Here, last but not least, we have settings, so nothing too fancy, but here you can also um, configure the mobile access from your smartphone, so for the Arx application. Okay, this is the Logitech gaming software on the computer. All in all, I have to say, it's one of the best-looking gaming softwares I've seen, and I love it. Now, guys, let me quickly show you the Logitech Arx application. So, first of all, you have to verify your computer and connect it, and once you've done that, you can check out your pretty cool stuff. So, here you can see your CPU usage. So, here you can see all my cores on my notebook. Um, the clock is 2.4 GHz, CPU load, for instance, 2%, and you can see here the CPU load on all cores. You can also check out the GPU, and you can check out here the temperatures, the clock and everything, the memory, here the RAM usage, and that's pretty cool. So, unfortunately, you ca cannot free the RAM or something like that here. That would be really cool for close background applications. But here, you can also go to other categories. So, the button here at the bottom is sometimes a little bit hard to reach on some phones, but here on this one, it's okay. So, we have here My Games. You can check out your games. You have something which is like a media remote. So, you can adjust here, for instance, the volume, play, pause button, so to skip through drags. You can mute your microphone, and here we have the G keys. I will just tell you a bit later what you can do with all those keys, but basically here you can check out your different profiles, so default profile and the other profiles, and you can check out what your hotkeys are doing. So for instance, um, what it loads up or which command it is using. So that's basically here the application. All in all, I have to say it's pretty cool, and this here really replaces the display you had on the other Logitech um, keyboards. I mean, it's not so fancy because you have to use a smartphone, but um, a better usage here, I think, on the G910. So guys, we're now here at the end of this review of the Logitech G910 Orange Spark, and yeah, here comes my final conclusion. Now, either you have to love it or hate it. This keyboard for me is really nice. Now, I absolutely love the RGB backlight. It's the most beautiful RGB backlight I've ever seen. Totally constant. All the keys are looking the same and you can customize every key. Now, regarding the keys, so let's talk about them. The keycaps are not so good, so it feels like I would have to lift off my fingers a little bit, and those edges, they don't feel so good in my opinion. But well, it really comes down to personal preference. There are friends, and they say, hey, that keyboard feels absolutely awesome. And first of all, I said, yeah, it feels awesome too, but it, it took me like a week to get used to it, but now I absolutely love it. So, it comes down to personal preference. If you're gaming like for five years with your old keyboard, it will probably feel totally different but I have to say, you will really get used to it. I really like that there are two different sized palm rests included, then also the Logitech gaming software is very reliable and has pretty good gaming detection. The Arx control application, which you can see on the smartphone, I think it's pretty cool, replaces the display, which looked kind of strange anyway, and yeah, um, the Roma G switches are responsive and quiet compared to the Cherry mechanical switches. So it's not that it's a good thing, but um, you don't hear it like so much like on other mechanical keyboards, but yeah, they are quiet and um, if you do gaming and if you're recording something near um, actually near the keyboard, which I do, then it's better to have a quieter keyboard, but still a mechanical keyboard. All in all, I have to say, it was worth the price for me. You can check it out. Links are down below in the description. I hope this review was helpful. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if it was helpful. Or also leave a comment down below if you have any questions. It really helps a lot to grow and to bring you more reviews in the future. So have a nice day, guys. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon in the next one. Bye-bye.